Hello and welcome to another Mr. Cat video where I'm going to show you how to do a proper dark age. I've seen a lot of people struggle with this, especially in low rank and have a few friends who has actually asked me to coach them. So this video will be mainly for them, but if you're watching, I hope you learned something. So this is going against the uh, first Franks, which has the bonus of having extra foragers. So forager work does 25% faster, which is going to be relevant in the dark age, so keep that in mind. Now just follow the instructions given here in the video and you will be you have a good blueprint uh, of how yeah. to uh, do a proper dark age. Do want to warn you though, it might differ game from game, especially in this game where I'm expecting a rush against extreme AI, so I will wall early and you will see that. You can do as you please with that depending on what your strategy. It might be that you want to go tower rush, you want to go more stone or whatever. But I just want to have this as a blueprint for all of you, so you know what to expect and what you can do in order to uh, complete your game. So, this is how you do a uh, Dark Age into Feudal Age. I hope you enjoy. So, blueprint number one. Two houses. Two villagers and one. One villager and one. Reason for this is, of course, that you're going to make a villager. And if you look up here, you have 4 to 5 start, and that means that you are going to be housed. Next, you want your foodie code started. This is so you can continuously create villagers. The golden number for this is uh, 6 on okay. food. I'm pushing an uh, ostrich here, which you don't really need to do. You can always use your food here, but I was lucky to find an ostrich really early. Hey. So 5, and this will be number 6. As this comes in now, the next villager is supposed to go on wood. You want a good wood income, and this is because you want to make your mill later. And your mill is going to cost 100 wood. So we are going to put three villagers on wood directly after. Okay. So we're going to make a lumber camp. Now, a lot of C low rank rated players are going to go for straggler trees. Don't do this, they are very inefficient. They are a long way from the TC they just walk and they are actually used differently uh, from what you might imagine so build a lumber camp and a good tree line and make an efficient cutter much better so the golden number here for me is three that's Hi. number three so the next villager that comes out I want to do a boar to get more food income so I'm gonna send a village up here where I found the boar and I'm going to take this one back with us. But before we take the boar, you want to build a house. So that is the first thing this villager is going to do, is make a house. Put this uh, in the blueprint. When you take your first boar, you want to make a house. This is to secure your um, villager production. Don't want to be housed. So the next villager now is going to go for berries. You can see my wood will go up to 100 because I have 3 on wood, so this should be quite mathematically exact. Yep, there you go, 105. Hey. So now I can make myself a mill. There we go, a mill is being started while I'm luring this boar back. The next couple of villagers you want to send to berries as well. This is to make sure your wood income, uh, food income is going to be increasing so that you can actually go up to the next age sooner. While all this, of course, you want to keep scouting like I'm doing. And as I said, I'm expecting a drush, so I will use a couple of villagers for walling. You don't have to do this, but this is the extreme AI. They are pretty finicky with how they do this. Uh, you're gonna see that they are gonna build a barracks instead of a mill, and this is because they want to use their aggression early, which is fine for me. Hi. So keep sending your villagers to do berries. You want a couple of them, so your food income will now increase. So you see, while I'm taking the boar, my leader isn't dropping off food. It is because they're going to gather 30 food before going up. So with 5 on berries, you will sustain your food income, even while your villager production, even while your villagers are on boars, without forcing them to drop off their food. So this is why, because these only go to 10. So you will see when this goes to 10, he will drop it off. While the boar, my people, there you go goes to 30. I mean more actually, sorry. Is it 40? Can't be sure it now. I'm gonna check her, see how much food she's gonna drop off. 35, yeah, it's okay. 
so 35 foot. And as you see, I'm starting to wall this off, which is a good decision. Since now he's not making ability, now he's very inefficient. He's doing very weird gameplay, this AI. For being an extreme AI, I think he's kind of awkward. Um, I did end up winning this game fairly easily with like, aggression in the castle age. I think it's kind of weird how he's doing. So he has four men at arms complete total, I think. And they are going to try and find an entrance. He doesn't know where I am, so he's going to have to look for me. His scout will soon scout me, and then he will try to go for an aggression, I think. Okay. Back in camp, you can see now we are at six on the food here, and seven on food here, and four on wood. So I added one more on wood, and that is because I want to go archers, and I'm walling, which requires extra wood. Don't have to go four on wood, but if you want to wall, it's a recommendation to put one more on wood. But this might be odd to you that I'm sending so many villagers away from doing the other tasks. As I said, just keep sending to barriers, otherwise you want to go up quicker. So this video will continue until I go to the Feudal Age. And you see I'm gonna click up at 23 villagers, which I find is a good number because I want to do some aggression in the Feudal Age with archers. If you want to go up uh, later to go to castle faster, you can wait to, for 3 or 4 more villagers and that is fine since you're walling. So now he finds me, he's gonna try the aggression. He's seeing some wall here. He knows I'm gonna wall here and he's close to this line, so he's gonna go here. Actually, what happened to his third man at arms? I'm not certain. It's the third. Oh! He killed my scout. That's what happened, right? I forgot. Tried to fight it off, but this scout was kinda weakened, so. It's fine. And you see the drush coming here, but I'm already on my way to Feudal Age, and you can see that I have 8 on berries, 6 on wood now, and I'm still going for the sheep. So we are gonna click up here, and we are gonna wait for the symbol to come up before we finish the video. It should go up just when the berries run out, it should be a good timing. And there we are, we're now in Feudal Age. So this is a basic blueprint on how to go from the Dark, dark Age to the Feudal Age. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment and tell me if you want more help. I also offer coaching uh, for free actually, so if you want some help, I can always help you out. And I wish you a good day. Before we leave though, we are going to just check timing. So we went to the Feudal Age in about 11 minutes 11 15 so we're in feudal age 11 15. all right i wish you all a pleasant day then see ya